it's a tradition, uh, the Kashmir Shaivist tradition, where instead of exploring the understanding, the non-dual understanding, or exploring what I am or what our true nature is with the mind, we sort of approach it from the level of tactility, of 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 feeling, of sensations. Um, and so we sit on a mat, on a mat or on a carpet or whatever, something that is inviting, hopefully. As as one of my teachers said, some a carpet that loves you rather than a carpet that you love. You know, there's a sort of invitation to really sit and close our eyes usually because that sort of turns off a little bit or turns down the activity of thinking when we close our eyes but it's it's not an obligation and then really welcome the body directly in the now listening to the body which already is a tall order you know just to listen to the body without imposing anything without without an agenda for the body to be more relaxed, to be more open, to be freer, because that's really usually for those of us who practice yoga, who are into well-being, there's a big old agenda there. So here, it's really not, I mean, the agendas will show up inevitably, but we see them for what they are. And then we try to really come back to a very raw, welcoming of of the body, of the experience that we call the body. We don't even know what that is when we when we listen to our direct experience to begin with we have an image of the body we have you know yes my body it's a woman's body it's a man's body it's a whatever body what age you know but as we settle we become less certain of all that and we and uh, but 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 the body itself begins to speak and the body that speaks is a body of sensations, a body of energy, a body of contraction, a body of relaxation, a body of openness, a body of, it's all sorts. And so then, you know, I guide us to surrender, for example, surrender the weight a little bit so that that, that very familiar sense of I being a body that is limited, I, 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 we become aware of the activity of, 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 perpetuating the felt sense of being a limited body which one of the ways we do that is we hold we hold ourselves we hold weights in the in the articulations of the body in the in the face in the mask and so we become we we listen to that you know and again very tall order could be considered boring but if if it's if it's done i don't know or if it's not done if it's not done, if it becomes a sort of you know, allowing, a sort of devotional surrendering of the body moment by moment, we begin to see that the body, rather than I living inside a fixed body, it's the other way around. The body lives in me, and I am this listening presence. And the body, little by little, remembers its essential nature, of freedom, of flow, of vibration. I don't know, you know, I don't want to put too many words because I don't want to make it like, ah, oh, I'm this and this. <laughs> it's, we also become very aware of the body of suffering, you know, the, the body that that is suffering, uh, that the geography, you could say, of suffering, the the tension, the the, 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 the fear, the all the emotions that are held in various localizations in the body we listen we listen we listen you know we, we listen what mo more beautiful thing than to listen to truly listen because then in in that lis listening is loving so when you listen to the body the body is loved and the body then realigns itself just effortlessly not instantaneously, but in its own time. It can take as much time as it wants. It realigns itself with, with, with something natural and organic. 